Shalom Rastafari, this is Brother Yadon of the line of Jewish Society, of His Majesty, of the Moa Anbesas, the Imnegeda Yehuda Machiver. Um, we want to continue, actually, um, with dedication. Well, when we say dedication, um, already we know there's a lot of Rastafaris, and, and, and this, is not, this is not a dispersion. Some might think it's a dispersion for us to say this. No, but what we mean by that is that some of the Rasta um, people who, who who focus on some of the the, the things we learned in, in kindergarten, you understand? You know, in kindergarten, you, you know, um, you remember kindergarten, how kindergarten, everything is like writ large, and, you know, very large and very basic. You understand? But kindergarten is a very important, it's a fundamental um aspect of, of early childhood development. So that's why we say we do not disparage it. But if you if you get stuck there then you're not growing in grace. And and it's the gospel, the Wengel, the good news of grace that is truly the good news of his majesty. So some would say, well, um this is another gospel. You're saying the gospel of, of Hila Selassie first you understand? This uh, this must be another God. No, no, no. It's it's no other gospel. You understand? It is the return to the true gospel. You understand? The true gospel that is written, not just in the Bible, but really in our hearts. You understand? It's already written in our hearts, but now we have the 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 resource of Scripture. You see, the resource of Scripture it, it points our attention to the source. You understand? To the source. Yet we must remember, and, and not just remember, but recognize, you understand, Yeshua HaMoshiach, you understand, Jesus Christos, and his already finished, accomplished work, you understand, that we have forgiveness of Chatiyat. We already have it. You see, the thing is, when we say, well, if, if that is so, like ones will say, universal salvation? Do you believe in universal salvation? No. We don't believe in the universal salvation. No. People say, well, well how come? And not that, that, that it's not the potential, that there's a potential for everyone in the universe to receive, but there's a key. This key is where we left off in the first part, the, the reminder, um, the, the devotional, the reminder to the Dekam as Amore, to the disciples, Rastafari, for the daily devotionals, such as the, the daily psalms, you know, the daily chanting of the Psalms, the daily reading of the Scripture at the top of the day, upon our rising up. If we rise up in the, in the morning, that should be the first um, thing that we do. You understand? That should be the first, to give praise, to give thanks and praise, and to give thanks and praise like the Psalm writer writes, with overstanding, or in the King James Bible is translated as understanding, but the mastawal, bamarinya, in the pure language of Nagusa and the guest, um, the Ethiopia, um, the, the Nagusa Israel, the word is overstanding. That means full comprehension, in other words. Putting in so called plain English will be a comprehending of what we are reading. This means that we can and we should test ourselves, you understand, on our knowledge. You understand? That, 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 that takes place in meditation. But we was touching on um, the fivefold. We was talking about um, the numbers, how and there's some key numbers like one, three, five, and seven. You understand? These are like the, this is like the, the square. This is like the perfect square if you would understand it. One. You understand the ahadu amlak, the singularity. You understand of the Father and the Son. You understand that that the one God, right? The one source, the ahadu amlak. Right then we have the three, right? The three is is the Trinity, Salase, Kedus, Salus. You understand? But then there is some um, w- w- confusion among some. You understand? Or the ignorance. The ignorance is what leads to the confusion. To you know, and this is one reason why we say with the name of His Majesty. In fact, that's that's a that's a video series that we might just um, after we record this and finish this set of recordings, we might just get right to that. And, and, and try to post that up there where we um, touch on the Hashem, the Hashem of Kedamawi Haila Salase. You understand? And, and there's, there's a, I think it's like a two, three part um, teaching 
on that that we haven't posted up because we you know we're summing up we've come to the Simchat Torah and there's also the Simchat Torah I think the part 3 as well so please um pray you know um keep us in your prayers and in this ministry and pray for more um laborers to be sent into the vineyard you understand into into his vineyard and and we're in the vineyard you understand and the harvest is plentiful but the laborers are few and this is one reason why, you know, we said, we said, what message should we put forward? From the very beginning, when we became conscious that we were being called into his service, into the service of his divine majesty, his gracious majesty, what message and, and how? And, and the Holy Spirit, and this is still clear to us this day, it says, as we um, were taught, you understand, and what we were taught, you understand, and what we were shown, this teach, this, in other words, the, 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 the gnosticoi, you understand, or gnostike, right, the gnosis, this, this, you know that you know that you know, I mean, what you have come to know for sure, you understand, which, of, 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 of the king of kings, of his Christ, According to the teaching, this communicate and, and bring forth as much evidence as as, as possible. You hope then to persuade others. You understand? Know, persuade the brethren and the sistering. You hope know, of the truth, of the wenge, of the good news, of the King of Kings, in and through the Moshiach, Yeshua. Amen. Amen. All right. Awo. So we have the numbers, right? Um, when we talk about five. Right, five, and and five is a very five is the number of grace. First of all, let's understand that five is the number of grace. And we did a song a couple of years ago. Um, we'll probably try to release some of this, these tunes. And we know there's a lot of other brothers and sisters who also are in in music and in the musica. You understand on a musical level. We hope that the the preaching and the ministering of the good news of the King of Kings and His Christ inspires you and inspires your your melodies, your harmonies, the the lyrics and the relics. You understand because this is what the King's music is all about. We talk about reggae. Reggae, true reggae, is the King's music. You understand even the King of Kings music. But we have to recognize what the message is. The message we have to do all in our power to see to it that the message of salvation is spread to those of our fellows, those brothers and sisters and, and others out there who might not have had the benefit of hearing the good news. This is the teaching of His Majesty. So don't let ones out there t try to tell you, oh, this is some other gospel because we say the gospel, the good news. In other words, His Majesty has good news for I and I. And he had good news, you understand, for the world. But being the spirit of truth and the spirit of truth being in him, right, there's that threefold work of the spirit. And that's the part three of the Simchat Torah that we have yet to post up um, on our uh, YouTubes and other broadcast sites. So please stay tuned for that part three, the threefold work of the spirit, you understand, as it has been revealed to us during this Simchat Torah time doing this joy of the Torah. But it's not in the old way, but it's in the new and the living way. Amen and amen. So, there's the five, number five. Five is the number of grace. Isn't this interesting? Five being the number of grace, right? And, and then we start to see the number five scripturally, even in the Tawahedo uh, Ritua Hymenot. You understand in the in the teaching or the doctrine, all right, of the King of Kings of 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 His Church of the True Church, the True Church in the professing Church, because many of us were in church. We went, some of us grew up in some uh, denomination or another of of Christianity of the Anglo Gentile Eurocentric Christianity, and this is not to say that it was all bad. Yeah, I mean we can't lie, you understand, and be about the about the grace and the truth and lie. Some of it was very instructional. 
You know what I'm saying? It might not have been completely correctly orientated, might have been disorientated, might have had the whitewash uh, 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 Zeus, you understand, the image, so forth and so on. But many of us can recall that much that we didn't even really fully understand but always was in our head and our heart as we begin to um, um, devote, livicate. When we talk about being livicated, we talk about, we say this is a liberty. You know what I'm saying? We speak about spirituality, but remember the teaching of His Majesty, of His gracious, gracious Majesty. Now, we have to remember His teaching to us. In order for one to follow this aim, one must be guided, right? Guided, right? By Hymenot. Guided by the Targum. The, the translation says religion. You understand? And there's a lot of controversy over religion. This is why that has been also a very important subject matter. How does it connect with faith from our Ethiopic, our Afro-Shemitic root? How does it really connect with faith? And we've sought to address this elsewhere. But there's that number five. So five is the number of, of, of grace. And we did a song. Right, a reggae song, a kind of a dance hallish reggae song, a couple of years ago, and it, it's got limited release, and and perhaps we'll bring it forward again. And it was called um, the, the the title of the song was Mister Five by Five, right? And, and then we played on the lyric like Mister Five by Five, based on Revelation five five, based on Weep Not, Behold. The lion of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed, amen, to, to open the book and to loose the seven seals thereof, amen. You know, so we got this inspiration to the, miss the five by five. Then as we were, you know, as we worked out the lyrics and we chanted it and, and, and as we say spit those lyrics, spoke those, that word. We notice Mr. Mr. Five by Five, like mystify, mystified. You know what I'm saying? That, that there's the mystic, but most are mystified because they don't have a true groundation. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they, they hear the word, but they become forgetful hearers of the word. You know what I'm saying? Like many of our Rasta Pharisees out there become forgetful hearers of the word. It's not to point no finger at them because a lot of us were just like them. We were saved by grace, the number five, right? So we have that number five again. So how does this work into our daily um, ivotional, right? What is the daily ivotional? You understand the the education. You understand the education. I did it. You understand education, not dead. Okay, we strike that dead. You understand? Because um, he was dead, but behold, he's alive and he lived forevermore. So we strike that. But we have to mortify certain things, don't we? According to the Wengel, the good news, some, some things have to be mortified. And they have to be put to death. You understand? Because I and I not want no carnal mind. You understand? We don't want no carnal mind. So some things have to be put to death. But we have to understand that we're putting these things to death spiritually. You understand? And gracefully, right? And truthfully. Amen and amen. Awo. So, there's the five, right? There's the five um, pillars of mystery, according to the Ethiopic church, right? The five pillars of mystery. And, and, and those five pillars of mystery are very scripturally, biblically sound and grounded. And you understand? Those are ground you know, groundationals right there. Yovas, and if you're not familiar with it, like we mentioned before, get um, the late Archbishop um, Yisahak, um, his book, The Ethiopian uh, Tawahido Church. Get that book, The Ethiopian Tawahido Church. Get a copy of, of that particular book. It's a very excellent book, especially for ones who might say, well, I, I don't know too much about the Ethiopian Church, the true Ethiopian Church is disclosed in and through that book by the late Archbishop um, um, Abuna uh, Yisahak. So please get a copy of it. But what's another level of the five? There's the five-fold ministry we, we, we read of in um, Ephesians, right? Um, and there's a lot of other fives, too. You know what I'm saying? When we really look at, look at this number five, right? Because like we said, the, the universe... 
You know what I'm saying? The, the, the spirit world is also digital. You know what I'm saying? The spirit world is digital. You know what I'm saying? Different technology, but there's some principles when you understand you recognize, oh, now you recognize why they, you know, got some technology down here, which is the, which is the wisdom of the world. But it's not the wisdom of the world outside in, but it's the wisdom of, 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 of Abba in the Moshiach, which is inside out. You understand? This is what we have to go within. You understand? We have to be born again from above. But the five, the fivefold way of grace for us as Dekamezamorit, the fivefold way of, of grace, of growing, rather, let's call this growing in grace. Right, the fivefold way for the Rastafari, the disciples, and other brothers and sisters who who who, who uh, name the name of the Mushiach, Yeshua, and Spirit and Truth. This is for you too. You know, saying for the for the for the Beit Israel. This is for you too. You know, saying, but we recognize that 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 many are our enemies for the for the gospel's sake, for the good news' sake of the King of Kings and His Christ. Hawari Yapalos, He disclosed that to us. So, therefore, we recognize that in our experience, gnosticoi, you understand, gnostico, we know that we know that we know. All right? All right. Amen? Amen. Now, what is that five? Five, firstly, to hear the word. As you're doing right now, you're hearing. You're hearing one speak of walking and growing in grace and in truth. So, the first thing is the hearing of the Wengel, the hearing of the gospel, the hearing of the good news. Secondly, it's reading. Like Acts of the Apostle, chapter 17, verse 11, we read of the Bereans who are more noble than those in Thessalonica because when they heard Hawariya Paulos, Hawariya Shaul, when they heard him, him preach and teach, and, uh, they went and they studied their scriptures. And they asked the question, Negarus, in the Zihu Yehonan? Is the matter really like this? In other words, we, we hear what Hawari Apollos is saying, but is it really like this? So they study the scriptures. So in Acts of the Apostle, chapter 17, um, verse uh, 11, what scriptures were they speaking of? They wasn't speaking of Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John. They wasn't speaking of those scriptures. Those scriptures were, were as of yet to be um, some written and others compiled together. It would take some hundreds of years for that fullness of that work to be done. They were speaking of the Belui Kidan. They were speaking of the Torah, speaking of the, the Navim or the Nabiyat, the prophets, and speaking of the, the Tehillim, right, in Luke. Near the end of Luke, after the Emmaus Road incident, we see Yeshua HaMoshiach, you understand? We see the Messiah having to remind them that they reading the scriptures, thinking that they have eternal life, but these are they which testify of him, of the great I Am, right? These are, so when we're reading the scriptures, we have to keep that in mind. If we're not getting a testimony of Yeshua HaMoshiach, you understand? In the word of Gitachina Mit Hanatachin Jesus Christos of our black Lord and Savior in the Word, then somewhere along the line we've been distracted, off tracked, or maybe preoccupied with some other point that's not really the spiritual point. And we have to pray for wisdom, pray for guidance. You understand? Guidance and detection, guidance and protection. You understand? And protection, not just from an outer thing, we, though we pray for that too. There's things we pray for, and there's things we pray against. Amen, amen. But pray to be guided so that as we are reading Torah, right, and when we talk about the Torah portions, we said this in the first part, not to even just call it the, the, the Sabbath Torah portions, right, um, but to call it the Torah in the new and living way, as Hebrews 10 and 20 say. To us, because Hebrew kedase is our kedase. That's our holy, you understand, liturgy, because it outlines for us what is our service as Beta Israel, as once lost but now found black sheep of the family, as Ethiopian Hebrews, and we say that proudly. You understand, not in pride in I and I self, but pride, right? Because Yeshua Hamoshia makes us proud, because the King of Kings Negus Negest. He, he's the one who raises us up. You understand? And our responsibility is to have that responsibility. What it is that we must do is to amen. 
You understand? Know to have faithful and trustworthy and, and a true witness. You understand? Know to trust him. You, right? King James says to believe and, and faith and so forth and so on. But we're getting to our root. You understand? Know Under our vine. Your and our fig tree. Amen. Amen. So we have hearing the word, firstly. Reading the word, secondarily. Right? Study in Timothy in, in Timothy's epistle or the epistle to Timothy at Imotewos, Hawariyap Aulos makes that very clear. Uh, study to show ourselves approved to who? To Ha Elohim. And who is Ha Elohim? Is Abba, the God and Father, right, of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Right? So we have to study, right? And then fourthly, we have to. Memorize. Memorize, yes. Memory. We have to, you see, in, in the Bible, it uses the word um, to love him with all of our heart, right? All of our soul, right? And all of our might, right? Liknand. Right? Now, overstand this. Uh, and this, that's, that's a shema there. Right? The Shema. What does Shema mean? What does Sima? Sima means to hear. There's that hearing again. Right? And in the hearing, in the proclaiming of that Shema, right? We are to love and will for what? Complete. You understand? With a complete, a perfect. Now, although that was Old Testament, it could not be fully fulfilled. You understand? All fell short of it. Until Yeshua HaMoshiach, the way, the truth, and the life became manifested, you understand, in this in this world, in this on this earth, you understand, in our reality, and even more so for us melanated people and black people and Ethiopian Hebrew people, he took on our flesh, by extension the flesh of all human beings. Since we know all know it comes from that black dot. You understand it all comes from that Adam. Right? Now he is the second Adam. So, we are to do what? To grow in grace. How are we to grow in grace? First of all, hearing the word. So very important to, to, to the Shema. You understand? Not just taking the, the, the Shema as a, as a ceremonial, though that's important in community as well, but really overstand the inner, the innermost of the inner, to get into the inner sense from above and be born again the repentance the metanoia to have a change of mind instead of trying to do it by our works like uh, making our own righteousness and and and, and doing uh, our will no the repentance says what repentance metanoia we get a change of mind we recognize that that it is finished when he said it is finished it is in other words, the way, the truth, and the life, the path has been made clear. Now it's for those who know to proclaim it, to preach it, you know what I'm saying, which is the good news, you know what I'm saying, and to manifest the living Christ by living in Christ, in that consciousness, to Acknowledge it in your mind. Let this mind be in you that was in the Moshiach, Yeshua, Yovas. So we are to commit the word to heart, to memorize it. But but don't do this out of like a kind of a word. Don't think like, oh, look, I remember a lot of scripture. I'm, I'm really righteous. No, that, that means you, you have fallen from grace. You see, when you start to do that, you've fallen from grace. Yovas. But because of that grace, that undeserved merit, that undeserved favor, something that we did not earn, you understand, but we receive it, you understand, that is what, you know, we're forgiven. You understand, our chat yat, you understand, and how we have to grow in that grace so we come into the fullness. So in the Bible it says, um, the fool has said in his heart, there is no God. Senef be lebu amlak yelem yilal. The fool have said in his heart because he has not committed that word. Now, when it says heart, 
This is not also very important. Many think that when it says heart, it is speaking of just the physical organ in our body. You understand? And that's like from a Gentile misunderstanding. But even many of the Gentiles who are studying, they understand that the heart in the scripture is not just talking about the physical heart. It's speaking of the consciousness. All right? So to put it into our consciousness, or, or some can say our mind, right? And, our, and not just our mind, our God mind, but our human mind. Our personality, it becomes a part of we because we have that word, so we treasure that word. You understand? So it's like we're putting money in a sense in the bank or we're putting food. We, 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 are, we are feeding on our daily word. You understand? We're put, putting some up for a so-called rainy day. You understand? Or a famine day, even as it may be. You know what I'm saying? Because this, this is spiritual. This is true spirituality if you can receive it. This is true spirituality. So what do we have so far? We have hearing, right? We have hearing, reading, studying, memorizing, or or committing it to heart, learning by heart. Learning by heart is another way of saying it too. And what does Rastafari say? Naya bingi, I bingi, do good, do good, do good. You understand? And 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 do good. You understand? Doing good is doing the way, the truth, and the life. Beholding Yeshua HaMoshiach, receiving Him, coming to Him. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. What does Abba say? Abba ask? Abba ask? He says, um, who can resist an invitation so full of compassion? We're going to touch on that as we go forward in the word, sound, power, and the gospel of grace. We're going to touch on it. Who? Can resist. Many of us did resist. We resisted, you know, for we, many of us are reading the Bible, studying, and learning all sorts of things about Ethiopia, about who we are, it's once lost but now found, Beta Israel, so forth and so on. But we still had, there was something that we was missing. You know what I'm saying? And this is interesting. It's like the man, the, the young man that came to Yeshua and said, What can he, you know, what must he do to uh, um, gain eternal life, inherit or gain eternal life, right? Um, and he said that he, he's kept, you know, the, the Torah and certain basic things from his childhood. You know, from his childhood on up, he was taught to have a, a respect or a, a, a reverence, in other words, for the Torah. That's like one saying, well, I grew up in church. I, I, I heard the word of God I, from ever since I was a little child or ones who know the Bible, so-called frontwards and backwards. That's all great right there. He always, but still, he recognized that he had lacked something. So he came to Adonai, right? He came to to our black Lord, to Yeshua, to Jesus, and he asked. He said, "Um, you know what? What do I lack? What, 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 what am I missing? Because he was conscious of it. You have to understand this. He was still conscious that everything, all the works doing that he had done. You understand?" Still, he was missing something. Now, this is a a very, very interesting portion of Scripture. It's a very, very interesting portion of Scripture right there. And we can preach on that, and and, and now that the Holy Spirit is even opening up our understanding even on that much better. I I, I, I really would love to, if you can see, as I'm seeing this, as he's showing me this right here, just in my spirit, that I knew this part, I've taught on this part, because usually they, they, they teach on this part where um, um, about the rich, because he was a rich, a rich young noble man, lidge or ras or prince or you understand, know, uh, you know, one who in a sense will be a titled of the of the Beit Israel nobility or of the synagogue nobility. You know what I mean? He had a uh, a standing. And he said that when he said that he 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 knew the law and the Torah and everything from his from his childhood on up. What does the Bible say? It says Yeshua looked, to behold at him, beheld him, and loved him. Loved him. So, so when one say that we shouldn't be studying Torah, you know saying it's just about Jesus or Yeshua, and all this Old Testament stuff is not really necessary, then they lie because Yeshua shows us his example. You know what I'm saying? And we we trust Yeshua's example, then they're contradicted, you know, they're contradictions. 
their their vain, useless disputing. You over, but here's here's what happened. Yeshua looked upon him, and when the man said, "I've done these things from my childhood on up," sounds like the the mezmor, the tehillim, the 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 the, the psalm. You understand? From my youth on up, and many a times. You understand? Many a times have we been afflicted from our youth on up, right? He said, what lack is I? What, what, do, what do I lack? What did Yeshua HaMoshiach say? He said, sell everything you have and follow I. What? <laughs> he said, sell everything that you have and follow I. And it wasn't come and be my disciple is what Yeshua was saying to him. Now, why is this important to us? Because it is teaching us if we're willing to receive fully, completely, with complete trust in him, in Imnet, in he who is the Amen. He says, Amen, Amen, I say to you. Truth, truth, I say to you. Verily, verily. You understand? This is the reality. And, 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 and the man walked away, went away, heavy-hearted and, and sad and everything, because the Bible t- says right there that he, he was a man of great wealth. You understand? So that was his misanakal. That was his um, stumbling um, block. He could have made it a stepping stone. But but that material was it wasn't because he didn't have an he had an investment in the spiritual, right? In psychological and the spirit, the soul, right? So in, in two parts we can say, right, of the triune, the tripartite being, right? Our the image and likeness that we are created in. But on the physical, you see, it was that physical discipline. Not his body, physical discipline, the exercise. Or, no, no, no. It was that it, he had great wealth and was unwilling to depart with that wealth for life. And Yeshua said, that's good you got that. Now you're ready. Sell what you got and then come and follow me. You know what I'm saying? So this brings us to the the fifth of growing in grace. The fifth. Once again, let's go over this. First is is hearing the word, second, literally, is reading the word, then is studying the word, then is memorizing the word, and then is meditation. You see, that's where meditation comes in. I know a lot of you all thought, oh, I was meditating, I was meditating. No, he wasn't, he wasn't meditating. That's not, that's, not, that's not true meditation. Yeah, maybe you was doing something you call as meditation, but that's not true meditation. See, meditation has to have this 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 foundation. You can look at the four as being the square and the meditation as being the peak, like of the pyramid in a sense, the capstone. But the capstone, in order for it to be up there like a lighthouse, it says if anyone have a light, he doesn't hide it in the bushel, but he puts it, you understand, on a on a on a lamp stand. You understand? They put it in a prominent place. You see, see the meditation brings us to a prominent place, but it needs to have a groundation, and it needs to have a foundation. You overs, and 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 that is something that we really need to understand. When we talk about um um growing in grace and truth, right? In order to grow in that grace and that truth, and to, to wrap this 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 off right here, let us just um recall to your mind some. Um, Psalm two, where it says, "And he shall, um, he shall, he delighted himself in the law, the Torah of Yod Hey Wow Hey of Yahweh Baruchu of Hashem Baruchu. He delighted himself in the law, the Torah, as we I and I and I delight I and I self in the new and the living way, the the living Torah." Of Negus and Negest, of Kedamawi, Haile Selassie, of the King of Kings. And that living Torah is the Moshiach Yeshua. Amen and Amen. Shalom Ras Teferi. Repent, everybody.